Hey guys, what's up? It's Cooper Brothers in Arms. Today, we are going to be doing a video that I've been excited to do ever since we started this channel. Um, AR-15s versus Mini-14s. And, well, I should say AR-15s versus Mini-14. And we'll get into the reason on why I have four AR-15s here and only one Mini-14 a little later on. But, uh, we're going to be doing just some simple drills. Um, we're going to start out pretty close range, just doing some quick target acquisition, just to kind of show the difference between, um, you know, what the AR-15 is used for and what the Mini-14 is used for. For those of you who've seen my videos before, you know that my gun versus guns aren't really which one is better than the other. They're just kind of comparing them and then showing which one kind of works for which situation better. Um, and I want to state early on in this video that I by no means think that the Mini-14 is inferior to the AR-15 and vice versa. Um, I think they're both great platforms. And I think they both have their own designations within the world that make them excel um, in their own little niches. And we're going to go through that and talk about it and figure it out. Um, I'm gonna start out with just a quick target acquisition drill. I've got six clay pigeons up there. I'm gonna go through with the AR-15, see how fast we can wipe them out, and then we'll move to the Mini-14 and we'll do a video. How's that? So if you guys follow the Instagram, which you should be doing, um, you guys have already seen uh, a kind of a snippet of this rifle. Um, this is a Palmetto State Armory, which I know is kind of a controversial subject within the gun world. And um, that's a lot of the reason on why I got one. Uh, a lot of back and forth on whether these are good guns or not. And I figured, what the heck, I'll buy one, I'll put it together, I'll try it. Um, start out with just a, you know, kind of a, an expensive lower receiver and then uh, got the whole kit from Palmetto and literally just a couple days ago just shot it for the first time this morning just put a mag through it to make sure it fired um, it didn't blow up so so far so good uh, there will be a dedicated video to this gun later on probably next week uh, just to kind of go through and get my thoughts on it but we are going to be using it for the 15 yard drill and we will see how it operates All right, guys, so I was able to go through the clay pigeons with, you know, relative ease. Uh, wasn't the fastest shooting in the world, not trying to set any land speed records or anything like that. Um, but, you know, I was able to bring the gun over and put the sights on each target pretty easily. Um, it handles really well, and I'm, you know, I'm impressed with just the gun itself. Um, had a couple misses, but that's the beauty of the AR-15 is you have enough ammo in your in your gun and you're, you can usually be quick enough to where you can come and pick up those shots that you miss. Um, so yeah, performed pretty well. We're gonna try the Mini-14 out and see if it does the same thing. You know, one thing I love about these Mini-14s, besides just the, the ruggedness and the, the cool, sleek look that they have, um, is the fact that they are more welcomed in society than your typical AR-15s, um, which is a big selling point for me. I'm not saying that you should be ashamed of your AR-15 or that you should try to uh, buy just guns like this and stay away from AR-15s. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that if you live in a state where it's hard to get the assault style weapons, um, you know, usually these are pretty, pretty available. And that's because they just look like a regular hunting rifle. And especially, you know, this is a 20 round mag, but you can get five round mags for them. Um, they just don't look as threatening. So if that's something that you're worried about, if that's something that your laws uh, in your state or whatever are concerned about, then maybe this is uh, a better choice for you than the AR-15. But uh, we're gonna do the shooting and uh, see how it compares to the AR-15 that we just shot. Uh, I just wanted to say that I, I like these. I like these guns a lot, so let's shoot it. All right, so obviously I was able to go through and uh, get all the clay pigeons. Some of them I got more than once. 
Um, and I know that was probably a little bit more shooting than you were expecting, but these are just so fun to shoot. They're just they're a great plinking rifle. Um, you know, the, the recoil is minimal and I love the, the M1 Garand style action. You know, well, I say that it's a modernized version of it, but it just, I love, I love these rifles. Okay. And I can't, I can't say enough good things about them. Um, they're just fun to shoot. If you're looking for a plinking gun or just something to take, you know, the family out and have some fun, <sighs> mini 14. And again, I'm not, there's nothing wrong with AR-15. I love shooting those too, but there's just, just something about holding this traditional semi-automatic rifle. It's just, just cool, you know? So uh, anyway, we're gonna go back into some more tests. Let's go back to the table and talk a little bit. So one thing I wanted to talk about just real quick, um, kind of the, the main difference between the Mini 14 and the AR-15. And I mentioned earlier, you know, that these don't look like the, the scary assault weapon AR-15s, but these are so customizable. There is so much that you can do with an AR-15. The modular platform is just, it's a great rifle if you are looking for customizability. Um, I have a flat top receiver here with just these flip up sights. I have, uh, well, and I say I have, I wanna thank the guys and gals that have let me borrow some of these AR-15s. Not all these rifles are mine. Um, in fact, only two of them are. And thank you so much to the people out there that are helping support this channel and helping us grow. Uh, we, we very much appreciate it. But I've got, you know, carry handle here. This looks like it was dropped out of Vietnam and put a uh, collapsible stock on it. It's, you know, just a very traditional style AR-15. And then we've got kind of a mixture of the two, you know, with the, the flip up sight in the rear, flat top style, um, but the post up front, this is, uh, you know, just kind of what, what you get when you buy an AR-15. Anything, anything you want. Um, you know, over here we've got a long range kind of style with the collapsible stock and the scope and the bipod and the stainless barrel. Anything that you want to put on these guns, you can find. And then you've got the Mini 14. Now, they actually make a tactical Mini 14 with a collapsible stock and a pistol grip and some Picatinny rails up front. And, you know, so I guess they, they tried to make it more customizable. Um, I personally don't think it looks as good. I think if you're gonna get a Mini 14, um, just stick with this, because this is such a good looking rifle. And I think they kind of tried to match uh, the AR-15 style and it just, I don't think it looks good, you know, but different strokes, different foes for sure. Um, but you know, with just these rifles, you're not gonna get much customizability. You can put a scope on here. Um, you can get some 30 round mags. Um, that's about it. You might be able to find a bipod that you can like put onto the barrel or something, but uh, you're not gonna be doing too much with these Mini 14s. But again, that's the beauty of them is that they just look like a good uh, traditional hunting rifle. And you know, that's what you're looking for. This is a great gun. It's reliable. It's not uh, very expensive. I'd say 700 to a thousand dollars. And that's, you know, typically what you're gonna put into an AR-15 as well in the shoe. We're going up in um, to the very high ranks of AR-15s like Daniel Defense, Armalite, Aero Precision, Cobalt Kinetics, stuff like that. But just, you know, Bushmaster, Smith & Wesson. We've got a couple of custom builds here. Um, this one is also from Palmetto State Armory, or the upper is at least. And, uh, you know, it's just depends on what you want. If you want a customizable modular weapon, AR-15, if you're just looking for something right out of the box, go plinking with or hunting with, Mini 14 is a great choice. Um, we're gonna run into it or go into a long range test, okay? And I thought about doing long range with this AR-15 here, but it doesn't seem really very fair because I don't have a scope on this uh, Mini 14. So we're actually going to be using this Smith & Wesson M&P 15, um, just to kind of share the love with all these guns today. Uh, I want to get them all shot, and maybe we won't get them all shot on video, but I want to get as many as we can. So we're gonna move back to uh, we're gonna move back to 75 yards, um, and then maybe we'll go back to 100. But I just want to kind of get a feel for both these guns because I don't shoot them very often before we go back a long way. So all right, guys. So we're gonna start out with the AR-15. We're at 75 yards. I've got. Two man targets up there, one on the left, one on the right. And since we're not trying to win any competitions or anything, we're gonna have a little fun. We're gonna do two to the body 
one to the head on the left target for the AR-15. And then when we shoot the Mini-14, we'll go to the right target, do the same thing. So let's start out. We're gonna shoot three rounds. And if you guys have seen my videos before, you know that sometimes I don't get a chance to come out here and shoot all the guns beforehand, make sure that they're completely sighted in, zeroed. Um, so really what we're looking for is grouping, not exactly shot placement, just how well those rounds are grouping together. So let's see. All right, now the right side with the Mini 14. All right, guys. So, like I said, I want to start out 75 yards because I wasn't exactly sure where these guns were hitting. Um, and these are two rounds, pretty center mass for iron sights. You know, this you, you can't really ask for much. I mean, we're hitting nines here. Um, and then, obviously, we missed the headshot. And uh, there's not really much you can do about that. But this is pretty decent. Um, we're, we're hitting pretty accurately. It's not like we're off target at all. We're just uh, maybe a little bit of dialing in. That is the AR-15, the Smith & Wesson MP-15. Uh, and then over here, uh, basically same story. These are a little bit uh, more spread apart. And this is actually on the right side instead of the left side. But center mass, and we missed the headshot. So I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with this shooting. I don't feel like I have to prove myself anymore. But um, let's move back to 100 yards. And we'll change out the AR-15 so we can, you know, uh, spread the the wealth around 100 yards. We'll do the same exact thing and I bet you this time I'll hit the head All right guys now. I've got the uh, the Bushmaster XM 15 out here um, Again, just kind of another budget uh, era 15, but works just fine by, by my standards um, We're going to be shooting at 100 yards if the camera lady would pan so we can see 100 yards iron sights guarantee headshot or your money back let's try it Do a little brass check there it is loaded didn't go for it oh boy all right here we go all right i'd like to say that i know that there's a bullet down there in the head, but I can't tell yet. I'm not sure. I felt good, but I'm just not sure. We're, we'll have to find out. But first, we're gonna shoot the Mini 14. So again, three shots, 100 yards, iron sights, two to the body, one to the head. All right, guys, so I guaranteed a headshot. I said money back, guarantee. So whatever money you have in this video, I'd be more than happy to, to refund. Um, pretty pretty decent center mass shots here. I'm not sure, I can't remember if it was these two or these two. Um, but either way, I know this one is down here and then these three are pretty close together. So center mass, missed that headshot. But, but, Bam, headshot, many 14, 100 yards, open sights. Um, and again, you know, down here, center mass. I'm not sure how we were able to spread that much down here and then bring it back in for a headshot. But the point is, is headshot. Many 14, if you're, you know, shooting a main size target at 100 yards, should be able to hit what you're aiming at, or at least close, you know, and like I said, it's kind of a hunting rifle, so, um, I don't necessarily recommend shooting deer with a two, 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 three. Um, 
it's kind of a controversial subject. You'll have to do your own research and figure out if that's something you want to do. But coyotes, uh, varmints, predators, whatever you're uh, thinking about hunting with your Mini 14, um, you know, this is pretty decent. And like I said, I don't really shoot with it over, uh, you know, 50, 50 yards usually. So if you get good with it, you can sink those shot groups down and, you know, have a very accurate rifle on your hands. Um, we're gonna do one more test because I've shot every gun here but one today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna back out to 200 yards. And we're gonna shoot that AR-15 with the scope on it um, and the Mini-14 and see. Now, before, before any of you say anything, I don't expect them to be close. This isn't really even a comparison. I just wanna shoot the gun because I feel bad that the others have been shot and I gotta compare it to something. And this is about AR-15s versus Mini-14. So we'll shoot them, see how they stack up against each other, and go from there. So last test of the day, 200 yards. And we're gonna be starting out with this AR-15. Um, again, this isn't really fair, but I wanted to point out that um, no matter what you do, the AR is always going to have a longer range uh, even if you put a scope on the mini 14 you're going to be able to reach out further with an ar style gun because you can use different calibers um, this is you know just a 223 556 but you can get uh 65 creedmoor 308 65 rendell 6.8 spc a bunch of different long range cartridges in an ar style platform but the Mini 14 is going to be 223, 556, or you can get a Mini 30, which is a 7.62 by 39, but you're gonna be stuck with those two calibers where, like I said, you can infinite number of calibers for, and not infinite, we'll say a plethora of calibers for the AR style. Um, but without further ado, 200 yards, scope versus iron sights. Uh, <clears throat> Just by the way, we are going to be shooting the head with this AR-15 and we'll leave the center for the Mini-14, mostly because it'll be easier for me to hit. All right, and uh, I couldn't really see where I was hitting um, because of that black background. This is not an easy C target, um, but they felt like good shots. We will see when we get up there, but we're gonna shoot the Mini 14 first because I don't feel like walking 200 yards, 200 yards, 200 yards, 200 yards. Uh, just not the shape for that. Round is a shape, but it's not in shape. All right guys, so, you know, AR-15, I had a scope on it and I did not have a scope on the Mini-14. This was not fair at all, but still, I've got uh, two in the head here and then probably pulled this or something stupid. I'll take the blame for that one. Um, and then the Mini-14 still hit 200 yards, iron sights. You know, I was trying to aim somewhere around here at that range, it kind of just looks like a big black blob and I'm just trying to hit the center of it. But, um, you know, right there, a hit and I think these are probably mine I'm not sure uh, there if those were there before or not but either way obviously the AR-15 um, was the dominant one but like I said the mini 14 if it would have had a scope I have every confidence that it would have performed just as well and the AR-15 is always going to be better long range though just because of its availability of calibers um, and uh, customizability it also kind of takes the cake uh, you can just do so much stuff to it but the mini 14 is a great gun for someone who wants just a standard semi-automatic reliable durable rugged rifle um someone who's not trying to look cool or tactical or uh, you know just different strokes for different folks 
Um, I love them both. I, I, I think that they both serve a purpose. I like my Mini 14 for plinking or hunting, and I like my AR-15 for plinking and hunting. It just depends on what you want to shoot that day. There's nothing wrong with owning more than one type of gun. Own them all. That, that's my motto from now on. Own them all. Just whatever you want, go get it. Um, but that's about it, folks. Thank you so much to the people that let us borrow the, uh, the AR-15s and the Mini 14 today. Uh, you know who you are. And uh, thanks, everybody else, for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram if you're not already. We have a lot of uh, content that you guys aren't seeing if you're not following it. Um, we just did a giveaway for a 300 follower mark. There's a guy in Oklahoma that's going to be getting two free shirts and a hoodie because uh, he won our giveaway. And we're going to be doing those more often. So make sure you go follow for a chance to win some free stuff and just to you know get a little look at our great content that we provide. Other than that, guys, have a great day. We'll see you later.